Oh, hold on, stop. Shit. Do <laughs> 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 it anyway. Let's go. Everybody, welcome to the spot. I'm your host, Sebastian Cosby, right out of Oklahoma City. Today, we got my producer, Sam McIntosh, on the show. What's up, dude? What's happening? <laughs> and we got Jack's Diaries all the way from Italy. What's up, dudes? Hey, what's up, guys? Dude, I'm, I'm laughing. I'm going to edit that part out in the beginning of the show. No, no, I keep that shit in there because it's, it <laughs> okay. just shows. It just shows our imperfection to this whole game of what we call podcasting. We are not professionals, folks. We are not no. professionals at all. No. And it's funny. The bloopers are actually pretty funny when I go back and watch them. So we'll keep it. I know. All right. Jack's Diaries, you guys have been doing some good uh, some good shit recently, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We just released the uh, brand new album, Riverside Motel. And also today, yesterday we had, you know, our um, our brand new official music video for When I Turn Into The Future coming out on NotFest.com. And today we released it also on our YouTube channel. So go check it out right now. Well, watch this show first, then go check it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> first watch this. Well, we're going to play the song actually later on, uh, later on tonight. So my, my YouTube was going crazy uh, with notifications about a week ago. Did you guys did you release like a whole bunch of like was it lyric videos at one time? We no? released a few. No, we released the entire album on YouTube too, so the people can go there and you know while they're watching the videos, they also listening to the songs. And we yeah, we just released the entire album on YouTube too. Are Where you are talking about on Instagram? Maybe it's he's actually is actually right because we released it yeah. also on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. Uh, I, didn't see, I didn't see it on this. I saw I saw it on YouTube. It's a whole album, right? Yeah, because it's way easier to promote, you know, your content through Google Ads. So, I mean, that's what you gotta do these days uh, if you are, you are a young band like us and a brand new band like us. So, yeah, it's going to be way easier to promote those songs through Google Ads and we are going to eventually do it in the future. Awesome. Tell us about this new music video that, this is the, is this the first actual music video you came out with since, uh, the Boom Boom song? Boom the Boom. What's the, what's, the, what's the name of that song? Uh, I love you, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> the song is actually called Fury Roads. Boom Fury Boom. Roads, that's what and, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, because, you know, in the chorus, you can clearly hear those those words. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we've been pretty busy after the release of Fury Roads. And uh, we produced the entire album with the help of Kane Churko. And then we, yeah, we shot the Italian cover for Zitti e Buoni, the Moneskin cover. And, uh, yeah, and uh, then we released the entire album and the official music video for When I Turn Into The Future. Okay. Yeah. So tell us, go, go ahead, Sam. Nothing. If you guys haven't checked out some of their covers, they have, uh, they got the Backstreet Boys. That's the one we came out of quarantine with, uh, which is still uh, on, on the... Uh, on, on the nod for uh, the Berlin Music Festival. So if you guys go check that out, you know, we, we would like those views to get up there so we can hopefully win that thing. And then, of course, uh, uh, Monoskin uh, is uh, whatever he said. I call I call it, uh, it's funny because I got a version for you. Like when he starts breaking it down, it's like, didn't the chicken catch a Tory? Da-da-da-da-da. Oh, Samurai's. 
It's not funny right now. <laughs> what? Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, sing, sing the chorus real quick. Sing the chorus real quick, Jackson. Sing the chorus real quick. Sono fuori di testa, ma diverso da loro. E tu sei fuori di testa. No, it's it's like uh it's that one. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's it doesn't matter. I was gonna read uh, pepperonis there's not in the, in the fucking lyrics actually. <laughs> I know it's not in the lyrics, but I was gonna make a funny American version of it. I was gonna <laughs> I, 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 I was gonna like make a weird Al Yankovic cover over it. It's just I'm I'm out of my mind, my mind. I'm out of my mind, my mind. That's it. It's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds better in no. Italian. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does better. I agree. I agree. Hey, what's up? So, what is what's what's going on with the Berlin Music Festival and, and you guys with the with the uh, video? What's that all about? So, um, the the Berlin Music Video Awards actually contacted us on Instagram a few months ago. And they were like, mm. no, I think it was November ish, wasn't it? It was like November. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Sam, maybe you're right. Uh, yeah. And they like wrote a comment, uh, you know, uh, down on the comment section of the video for when or came down to CI. And they like invited us to, you know, take part on this year contest. And it's a pretty, actually, it's a, it's a pretty, it's our version of the MTV Music Awards, we can say pretty much. And uh, so we never expected to be nominated as one of the 10 finalists for the best cover song of the year, especially with a like funny, stupid song like everybody. And uh, but yeah, I mean, we are one of the 10 finalists of the Berlin Music Video Awards and we cannot be any happier. That's cool. When, when do they decide who's going to win that award? And how long is <laughs> you don't even know? So no one knows. And you're, people, people can still vote for it, right? What when they yeah, send I'm, him a when they send him a paycheck and says get on the plane? That's when we'll know. Yeah, you're right. When they turn, I can see the future, but I'm not that powerful yet to tell you if I already <laughs> won that fucking prize or not. <laughs> <laughs> but if I turn, I can I can tell you that I'm pretty happy. You know, I just for me it's enough. For us, it's enough to be one of the ten finalists. It's already a huge goal, a huge, huge achievement for us. That's it. That's it. Now we're coming after you, Eurovision. We're coming after you, Eurovision. Yeah. <laughs> you guys not even kidding. Go ahead, what? We are not even kidding. I oh, mean, yeah. yeah. We're, we're coming after them. <laughs> it did, it, did Italy open uh, back up as far as, like, better than it was, like, back when you were on last time? Yeah, I mean, we are all together tonight, so, yeah, we can – we can stay. Um, we can stay outside, let's say, and, until um, 11 p.m. and then we gotta come back home. So the curfew is still there. Mm, yeah, it's. I mean, I'm pretty sure the world is coming back to normal, and uh, we are. You know, we, it, it's going to end soon, and we are going to come back on tour and eventually move and you know leave the. The life we are supposed to. <laughs> now, Andreas, we know the last time that you were on the show, uh, you grew your hair out about a foot. What's up with that? Yeah, I want it to is. Like you want to what? I want to look like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Well, uh, we'll call we'll call him Jesus Superstar. That's his new next name, Jesus Superstar. <laughs> Or just, or just Jesus, 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 <laughs> Brazilian, Jesus. Yeah, sangria, <laughs> He's got to drink more. I don't. So what I, do you? It, what is that? Sangria? It's cold. Yeah. No, it's cold. cold. It's, it's wine. <laughs> it's it's wine. It's member sangria. So it's like. Yeah, uh, yeah. I never understood the point of a curfew. I don't get why there's curfews. I don't think I don't get how it stops people from getting COVID. I, I don't understand it. But, well, but don't, don't 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 forget it, it's because we're American. We can do what we want. But his government says oh. 11 p.m. So and they find. Matter of fact, uh, tell us about your uh, when you when you <laughs> went to. Let's talk about this video and uh, some of the problems that happened with this video. 
um, which later on we're going to do some ghost stories with this, uh, some definitely some supernatural stuff. But tell us about uh, what happened when you filmed that night. So what happened was that we we shot we came to we had to travel through two regions of Italy to get you know to the location of the video and uh, <clears throat> we started shooting in the morning early morning and uh, then we had a like dinner break and then we <clears throat> came back to shooting the video from like 10 p.m. until 1 a.m. more or less. Yeah. Uh, the problem was that some people of the <clears throat> city near city near near the location called the police because they saw some strange lights and some you know straight strange you know sounds they heard some strange sounds so they called the police the police came and uh they find you know all of us and uh, <laughs> like something around 300 dollars even more probably 350 dollars yeah and, uh, dang yeah yeah and it, it was a finger in the ass because I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we had to pay for the video we were we were i mean the clients so i mean uh, we were not supposed to you know have the permission they the, the film company was you know the one that was supposed to get the right permissions to shoot the video they didn't so we all been fine and uh yeah I don't think I've ever yeah. heard someone say a finger in the ass so funny. All right, all oh, right. So funny hey. before. I was gonna pre-warn you. Some of their the way Jackson says certain things, like instead of um, you know around the corner, it's behind the corner, and finger in the ass. Well, actually, I like that one because there's no other. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing else you can substitute it for. A finger in the ass is still not good. So. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that before. Like no. say, say something sucked. <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> well, it's better. It's better because you you know you say a finger in the ass and then Frankie goes ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone like it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so some people like it. That's right. So yeah, these poor guys they got fined on a video um, that they were creating that they've already paid for. But the the moral of the story is uh, make sure you get your permits, uh, film no, company. No, they, um, don't yeah. get a finger in their ass. And don't get a finger, <laughs> don't get a finger in your ass. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, what was that city called? Uh, uh, what city was that that was nearby? Uh, Verona. Verona. Okay. Hey, Verona. Uh, snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We love Verona. We love Verona. So. Verona's yeah, a good yeah. city. All right. Let's get to the music video. Uh, when I turn, I see the future. All right, let's play it right now. There we go.
All right, let me unmute my mic there. Let me mute, mute everyone's mic. There we go. All right, Sammy there? All right. Yep. All right. That is awesome, guys, dude. That is such a, a, a neat video and a really, really cool song. I mean, and by the way, that that uh, Jack's Diaries flag um, that's in there, Sam, when you go down to Italy, I need you to pick one of those up for me. <laughs> so I can uh, put it. <laughs> there's only one of a kind, actually. So oh, make another there's one. No, there's <laughs> only one. We will. We will be cool. a part of the uh, upcoming merchandise. We will be printing pretty soon. So yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I I love I love it. So how did you? Why did you guys pick that song? Um, because you have a whole bunch of songs that you that you, that you released. Uh, why did you pick that song to make the music video for? Well, you know, coming coming from Fury Roads. Which is a powerful song, probably mm -hmm. our heaviest song of the entire album. We wanted to give uh, experience. We wanted to give, you know, a different kind of product to the people following us. We don't want, you know, to be recognized as a metal band. And I mean, right. we have to pick and choose which which song to release, which video to shoot, in order to keep the, fan, the fans, you know, always busy and always with, you know, something in the back of their heads. So yeah. Cool, dude. Are you are you, are you able to play any shows at all in Italy yet? Like um, no. outdoors, anything? No. Yeah. Right now, no. Absolutely. They play at Frankie's house. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, yeah. so you guys, are, you, you can Are they even talking about when? Um, and Sam, when you would know this. Also, is there any talks about when Italy's going to open back up for touring? Um, or is that still something not talked about? Yeah, when they when they get rid of the curfew, that's pretty much then it's game on. Um, they because okay. you guys don't you guys still have they still have masks, um, but I don't know what the vaccination rate is just yet. Like here in the United States, a uh, good example. I was in Arkansas and Tennessee, and they both had if you if you're already vaccinated, you have the option to wear a mask, and it's actually like that in a lot of states. A lot of states are getting rid of the mandatory max vet. Uh, uh, mandatory mask for vaccinated people because it's stupid. If you, if you have a if you're vaccinated, you don't need a mask anymore. It doesn't protect yeah, you 100. percent But so it's really weird because and they've said that, um, and I think we've even heard the president say that like don't be you know don't be chewing someone's butt if you see them without a mask on. They're probably vaccinated, so they have an option now. So it's really in a, we're in a weird place right now. But right now. No Italy, no France, no Switzerland, no no nothing in that area just quite yet. So, absolutely, yeah, you're right. And Frankie is gonna get his vaccine in on June the fourth. So Frankie is gonna get yeah. the vaccine, and I, I mean, me and Andrew, we are not going to because we don't trust this shit at all. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Frankie wants to. Leave if you want to fly, sir, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have I to. mean, I have to. Is yeah. that officially a rule? No, uh, well, I can't. I can't fly over there. So I, in uh, December, I'm going over to oh. those guys's, and I have to be vaccinated before I can get on that plane. Really? Yeah. Gonna so I'm to... gonna, I'm gonna grow a tail and everything like that. Yeah. Start speaking. It, you know. But I, you know what? It, it it is what it is. I I don't care. I'm tired of arguing about it. Give me the stupid shot. I'm gonna die anyway. So <laughs> you might as well just. You might, I mean, if the worst case scenario, yeah, Manchurian candidate, they can control my body now with all the, uh, the micro, uh, the micro Michael whatevers. Chip. And yeah, so, <laughs> so yes, let's, let's talk about you going down to Italy. You're gonna leave in December, yeah. I'm, I'm heading out in December. I don't want to talk about this okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, right, let's talk yeah, yeah. So, but apparently we just opened it up. So yeah, in December, uh, about mid December, about December 15th, I'll hop on a plane. I think it was December 15th is what my plane ticket says. I don't know the line, but you may be right. I, I, I mean, yeah. don't trust me. Or was it a 12, maybe it's the 12th or something like that. But so yeah. it's middle of December. I'm going to head out there um, head, uh, and meet Jackson and, and, and Andrew and, and, uh, Frankie over there at the airport in uh, um, Milan, and uh, and the rest is history. We're gonna go back, and we got a new album that they're working on right currently, right now. So we're gonna we're gonna just I'm gonna 
kind of give my input onto it, uh, not necessarily producing, but definitely getting all the structure to the music. We're going to work on our English dialect. Uh, I'm going to harass uh, Millie when she's there. Um, and, uh, and, and Frankie and Frankie's dad and, uh, and, and Jackson's mom. So yeah, we're, we're going to have a good time and I'll leave about mid February and come back here and hop back on the truck and back to work. I go. So that's exciting. That's exciting. I would be, Jack, I'm sure Jack, you guys are all excited about that. Absolutely. No, no Sam, not. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But we, we, we're kind of, there's a, there's a multi-purpose to this visit. It's not only to help with the new album, but we got a lot of things in the works for the future as far as business-wise. Um, you know, partners, just like you and I, Sebastian, are partners. You know, uh, Jackson and I, we're going partners on, on, right now the plan is a tattoo clothing line shop. Uh, so uh, when we move them over to Vegas, but we're moving them over to Vegas soon within the next two, three years. And um, so they can work real closely with Kane Church and his studio and be over here in the United States where they're where we feel all of us feel that this is where this is the market for them versus uh, versus touring Italy so you know yeah absolutely or we, yeah. Or, or we move them to the uh, UK whichever just kidding wherever <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm out so. like okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so but yeah, yeah, uh, there was a time someone was going to move, wanted to move to Canada. I'm not going to name any names, Jackson, <laughs> or anything yeah. like that. But he wanted to move to Canada, and then he and and even though I said no, you still can't, you still can't can't go across. He's like, what? Uh, and then he finds out. And he's like, yeah, I still can't go across. So if there are any lawyers out there, let me just explain the situation because Jackson might be a little bit embarrassed about it, but it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Jackson, <laughs> Jackson tried to was on tour with a band with an American band and hopped on a plane. Was told to hop on a plane and and, and get over here. Hopped on the plane, but once he hit Detroit, they realized, wait, you don't have an O1 or a P2 visa, and you're in a band. You can't be here. And so they got a 10-year – well, Jackson got a 10-year band. Frankie and uh, Andrew are fine. So, but Yeah, uh, they yeah, so, lucky, yeah, they were lucky enough to, you know, be playing in another band, not with me. So, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what – yeah. Explain to bands that are in other countries that want to play in the United States. Explain to them – what and now the UK, get. and now the UK. Okay, so it's ex explain the different kinds of, of maybe is it a, a visa that they need or a passport or what? What is that special uh, visa they need? So it's a pretty long story, but I mean bands. If you want to go to the US to you know tour, and uh, you have a label over there, make sure they prepare for you the right paperwork and the right documents because otherwise you are going to be the one removed from, from the country and it's going to be, I mean, a, uh, something that is going to affect your careers because a uh, matter of fact is that my previous band, after, you know, that, that thing split up and started, you know, rotting and started, started dying. Um, yeah, we, I mean, I cannot tell the entire story because I, I will have to talk shit about some you know people in the business and i'm not going to uh but well, i mean no i'm not because no. i'm about the we're, first gonna, interview. we're gonna we're gonna set up a fundraising fight <laughs> uh, yeah i mean yeah first off this is not the first interview i'm doing so i know how to behave properly <laughs> but i mean secondly I, I have to talk shit about you know somebody in the business and i don't really want to uh right now but you know, bands make sure you have the right documents before leaving your country and going to the U.S. Because, I mean, it's not it's not going to be easy, you know, getting over there and you know perform. I've been touring my entire life. I've been you know visiting a lot of different country countries such as Japan, Russia, and I I played all around Europe. Never had problems. Never had problems. Uh, but once I landed in Detroit, bad choice. I got I got you know detained because of you know I, because I didn't have the right the right visas and you know and the right documents. And then visas, so. I can elaborate on that. So there's an O1 visa which basically states that he ha uh, that the person has the right and they're going to be working and paying taxes on the money that they receive. 
That's an O-1 okay. visa. And then, of course, there's O-2, O-3, and sub for spouses and production crews and stuff like that. So that and then there's a P-1 visa. That means they're going to be coming over here in the United States, but they're not going to get paid. But they're an entertainer and they're 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 touring. So like your South by Southwest people usually are your P-1 visas. Those are really easy to get. The O-1s a little bit more because there's a lot of tax stuff that has to be written up. But any of those documentations has to be sponsored by an, a company, uh, basically an American company that says, yes, we're having them come over. So it's no different than if you're in the military and you're trying to get someone to go on base, you have to sponsor them. They right. need to know the name, so on and so forth. But unfortunately, and I think it wouldn't have been bad, that bad for Jackson, but I think that Detroit, they knew they messed up when they let the his brother through first and then they let him through and then yep. they're like wait those guys are in a band and so instead of because i what i'm what i'm saying is in my case that i plead to any any entertainment lawyers that are out there listening why such a heavy 10-year fine ban for something so simple as they don't understand the laws here in the united yeah. states hell hell i didn't even understand the laws when it came to it so um i mean we got a, we got 24 different visas in this country i think it is 24. Wow. that's way too much way too much how about like one or two yeah. you know and and in other countries they just have an esti SD, that's it. Just a normal passport. That's it. That's so cool. I so. wonder why. I wonder why they make it so hard. And that sucks that that happened um, to you, to where you can't. You had to take. Yeah, it's all. It is. You're right. You're right. It's all yeah, about the money. That's all about. Yeah. It's all about the money. Yeah, but make no mistake. We did everything. Everything in our power to have the right documents and visa. We didn't want. We we pretty much knew how it was working, so we didn't want to break any rules or. Or stuff like that just we were represented by somebody we were we signed a contract with a label there in the u.s that you know just didn't care at all about us and about you know us having the right documents so that's why i will be talking shit off if i will you know tell the the full story but mm -hmm. the funny part of the story is that we were not even supposed to take any money from the shows because we were supporting supporting another local band so i mean <laughs> Wow. We were not supposed to take any money, so uh, it's it's it was it was very unfortunate, and yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's it. I mean, I'm here today because of what happened with my previous band, so I can say I'm, I'm happy where I'm at right now. Yeah, and, yeah. just think just think of it that way. If if, if that didn't happen, all this wouldn't be here. So, uh, yeah. But sometimes when something bad happens, something good comes out of it, man. So that's if right. You're in a band and, and you're and you're not from the United States. There you go. Do your research before you come here to make sure you don't get banned. Um, that is really kind of some bullshit right there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but they, all right. In, in all due fairness, this happens every day. Bands come yeah, over here right. to the United States and and they come over here solo with hard with no guitar cases or anything. It just happened that well, how many people were in your band? Five members in your band. Uh, members the first, yeah. yeah. The first, the first one goes through all tatted up. Uh, well, not really. Andrew's not really all that tatted up, but has a good tar case. The second one goes through all tatted up, freaking gauged ears, everything like that. The third one gets there. I think it was Mark, right? Mark was probably the third one. Uh, all tatted up, guitar case. Hold up, wait a minute. This is a band, you know. Yeah, whereas, they yeah, they they figured it out, and then of course there's there's a whole backstory when they detained them. And they scared the shit out of poor Jackson. Um, so, you know, so, so Detroit, so, shame on you. So hold on. So, so if, if they didn't have the guitars with them, it wouldn't have raised a red flag. We didn't, Probably. we didn't have the guitars with, with us because we, I mean, the funny thing, Sebastian, is that we called the embassy the, the day before, you know, leaving Italy. And we told them, listen, guys, we, the, the tour is starting tomorrow. We got to leave. And they told us, okay, then you can go without your instruments and just, you know, uh, file like an, an ESTA, which is a document that, you know, right. Like, it's, it's working like a visa pretty much. Like a but, uh, Yeah. And uh, so we landed without instruments. We landed with no. Oh, I thought you had it. Okay. No, we didn't have a single instrument. But the funny thing, the, the problem is that I actually entered the country. 
uh, because I, I was admitted to the council. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he went we outside. Were, yeah, we, we were splitting up. We, we landed and we split up. And I came and I uh, went through with my wife and my brother. And uh, we did all the right, you know, co like controls and all this kind of stuff. We passed through the metal detector and then we entered the country. The guys of the band were stopped before entering the country. So I got a 10 year band. They don't because I actually like committed a crime and they didn't. So that's what happened. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, that's what happened. But the funny thing is, the problem is that uh, Mark, the guitar player at the time, had a bag with him with like 50 uh, sweatshirt of the band. Mm -hmm. And when they opened it up, they 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 told, they asked him, Mark, why you have merchandise with you? And he answered like, I just like this sweatshirt and I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, that's it. it. He liked it. What? He liked the band. Yeah. Right. Uh, a super fan, yeah. <laughs> super fan. yeah. And he started, he started like telling you know bullshit and things like he was there for a tattoo convention, which was not true. True, and they right, started right. Doing, like the tour flyers, and they knew who we were, and mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> you should have ran. You should have oh, yeah. ran. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but. We only have three more years to wait on that band, anyway. Yep. So, but yep. we have a, I have a, we have some good people in our team that will uh, clear this out a little bit quicker. So awesome. Well, I think we hit the thirty the thirty three minute mark. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about your website real quick and your merchandise. Uh, your website things like that. We yeah, can find Frankie. It. Frankie, tell us about it. Yeah, we have a site that's www.jacksdiaries.com <laughs> and uh, you can find our merchandise in the merchandise section. We have everything there. So it's easy. <laughs> and no no what? flags, no flags yet, but we're going to get flags, right? No flags yet. Yeah. Mm. Well, right, we'll uh, sure you, you have your flags. Yeah, <laughs> for, sure, for, for sure. both of you. I don't want a flag. <laughs> I, I hate I hate Jack there. Don't Jack ruin Sires. my flag because you don't want one. I will wipe my ass with it and give it to you. I just put it. <laughs> that's my gooch. I'll put my gooch fine. on it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll wash it. So, I thought it was a yeah. washer. It doesn't bother it. me. <laughs> All right. No, we are. Uh, no, we are going to have another episode that we're doing after this one. Uh, ghost, ghost stories. Stories with Jack's diaries. So let's jump. To that one let's get off of here should i go ahead and play the outro song are we how are we gonna do are we gonna roll it separately what are we gonna do well we should talk a little bit about ourselves as well guys don't forget to like okay. us share us uh get on and we got merchandise too go to the loudspot.net right. um if you're a person that just wants to listen to the audio don't wants to watch the video um there's a nice wonderful player right there that just click it and don't uh, the biggest things follow us uh we're trying to boost our instagram this month so make sure uh well this month being the new month of june as it, when this will air um so don't forget to follow us on instagram and don't forget to follow sebastian on his tiktok where he does crazy things um he he will be naked soon i'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time <laughs> i'm not trying to get banned from tiktok dude yeah, you are. Just put. You know what? <laughs> yeah, you, you got to get banned. That way, they can give a little bit of heat to it. You be like, oh, look, I got banned, and then you can then you can cry about it um, yeah. for the rest of the entire time. You that like how you got banned? Boy. Bad criminal, bad boy. All yeah, right, bad. <laughs> That's how Jack started. You guys are gonna stay right there. Sam, go ahead and play the outro song. This is the loud spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. Don't forget to go to our YouTube and subscribe. If you want to listen to our audio and pick up some cool merch, go to www.theloudspot.net. Peace out, rock on, much love.